Hello, my name is George Redman. I'm the music director for the Bangor High School performance, upcoming performance of Chicago. Uh, and I'm here with our director, Ms. Debels Hammond. And um, we're uh, extremely excited about the, the upcoming performances and uh, this year's cast, uh, which you can hear preparing in the background. Um, so uh, we'd just like to tell you a little bit about the show and maybe have a moment to talk with a couple of the students. So Deb, um, tell me a little bit about the show. When is it? What are the performances? What we're doing in Chicago, it is next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, November 17th to the 19th. It starts at 7 o'clock, and you can purchase tickets at the door. Five bucks, Ooh. that's it. Five dollars at the door, great. So, I guess to begin with, how many students do we have uh, involved in the show this year? We have about 30 kids, that's usually about the that amount we yeah. have um, yeah. every year. And uh, who can participate? It's open to everyone. We want everyone to participate, um, especially in the musical. We get big ensemble numbers. Everybody gets to, you know, stand out just yep. for a minute. So we yep. love to have, love to have the crowds. Yep, yep. Kids from all classes. Um, kids who are here for a year. Kids who have been here for, for their entire high school career and have been heavily involved in the program. For people who are here for the first time. So it's quite a wide variety of, of students. Um, and what are some of the things that they can do? I mean, it's a musical, it's a production, there's a lot there. What are some of the behind so the scenes? So many jobs. Yeah. So many jobs. We have students working on props. We have students working on set. We have students painting the set. We have students who do the choreography. Um, so there are just a ton of things if you're interested. In, we have students who run the lights. We have students who run the sound. Absolutely. Uh, we want students to have the full mm -hmm. experience. And they can certainly get it here. So. Wonderful. Yep, You've got them in the students in the orchestra as well, playing, exactly. playing in the pit in a wonderful just kind of professional student mentorship where where our students will sit with other adults and professionals and learn from them the art of being in a musical pit, which is like, unlike anything that they do. Unlike anything. So being being a school and, and being a school production, I guess the I guess one thing that would would be. Uh, interesting and important to know is what are the lessons that students take away from their participation in the arts in general, in theater, and in a musical? I think for me the most important lesson they take is how to work together. That you have to learn how to work with a bunch of people when you're exhausted, when you're tired, and you don't want, you know, you have a million other things you want to do, but learning how to communicate with other people and do it in a way that is appropriate and adult. Um, so that is mm -hmm. definitely one of the biggest mm -hmm. things I want them to walk away. Not to mention I want them to walk away with skills in theater. You know, um, I think you learn about a lot about yourself when you do theater. Mm -hmm. And um, I think this is definitely something that will stay with them forever. They will walk away with the confidence, they will be able to speak in front of other people, and they will feel good about themselves because I can't tell you enough, as you know, mm -hmm. that feeling you have after you do a show and you were successful and people clap for you because you were good. Mm -hmm. That is one of the best feelings in the world. I am choreographing the show as well as starring in it as Velma and I also happen to be doing costuming and makeup and hair so I'm involved in like all aspects of the play mm -hmm. and it's it's quite a challenge but I really enjoy it because I really <laughs> pushed for this musical when we were um, um, thinking about it and then I was just so elated when we finally got to do it and so I was like I want to be involved as much as possible. That's, that's, that, that's great. I mean, it's just it's amazing what she's done so far and what she's done in the last two or three years here. Tell us a little bit about why you were so excited about the possibility of doing Chicago and well, what well, the show means to you. Well, one of the, um, I just always love the dancing in mm -hmm. Chicago and we also got to see it this uh, spring for our chorus trip and it was I don't, it's just a, it's such a good satire on like the way we think about the world and like it's not played as a satire but like it's so I don't I just I, it, you don't relate to it necessarily but you just really enjoy um, like the characters like none of them are likable but you like them anyway <laughs> and so <laughs> there's no bad character yeah yeah um, Tell us a little bit about what your your background has been, not just you know, obviously this year and how heavily involved you are, but what you've done 
you know, talk about your dancing maybe a little oh, bit yeah. or other, other theatrical things you've done? Um, I've done every school, school musical, per se, since um, third grade. <laughs> um, and I've been involved uh, in every production that they've done here at Bangor High since freshman year. So they do three each year, and I've done at the moment, that would make it 10, and hopefully it will be 12. Um, I've really enjoyed the people. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the community that it, um, that it creates and mm -hmm. the family it sort of, that evolves from it. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was a freshman and all of the seniors sort of um, helped me feel like I belonged in this community and I hope I can do the same for everybody. Great. Well, I'm playing the role of Roxy and uh, basically she's a sassy murderess, <laughs> I guess. Um, she, she doesn't think about anyone but herself. Uh, she's very selfish. Uh, she's very narcissistic. Um, and she will do anything to get what she wants. Uh, so that, that's, it's kind of fun because you, you don't... Coming from someone like me who, who doesn't really... <laughs> I don't really know where to go from this. Rock any so. boats. <laughs> yeah, right? Rock any boats. Roxy just loves to rock the boat. So yes. that's, that's, that's what she does. It's what she lives for is the drama and the, mm -hmm. and the excitement of life. And if, and if that means to, to kill someone <laughs> or, you know, something as, as extreme as that, so be it. So it's all about Roxy. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, so tell us a little bit about uh, what you've done, um, your background in the theater and... Um, other roles or other oh. other places where you've done stuff and okay. yeah um, so in middle school I did the, uh, the fall musical um, and I really that's when I really started uh, gaining interest in musicals and, and theater uh, and uh, during the summers in in middle school uh, I worked with Ten Bucks Theater on their uh, Shakespeare in the Park <laughs> um, so that was really fun uh, I think it's Shakespeare under the stars uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, I started doing theater here freshman year for the musical, and I've done it all four years, and I worked in the one acts uh, for tech last year. So it was nice to get a glimpse of what techies do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but usually, uh, usually I'm, I'm musical-oriented here whenever mm -hmm. I do theater. Great. So, so um, I, play, um, I play Billy Flynn in Chicago, and it is... I love the show. The show is... It's so... It's so different than any of the shows that I've ever done before. Um, my role specifically is integral to the play because um, I'm the key that turns, that makes the whole thing shift. And it's, it's such an amazing experience to do this as a senior at high school and it's a ton of, ton of fun. Uh, t tell us a little bit about your background. How, how long you've been involved in plays and theater and, and is it something you plan to continue with? Or? Um, I've been doing theater uh, specifically in school and more so outside of theater after middle school, but I started in third grade. And um, yeah, I just, I spread my wings after middle school and started joining a community theater and the Penobscot Theater, and, but I've still uh, stayed with my school for as much as I could. And uh, I would love to pursue an acting career one day. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, just in closing, uh, some of the things that you've learned, not only through maybe this show, but through the other shows you've done here, some of the lessons you've, you've taken away from your time with the theater. Um, you, a lot of people say you always have a home in the theater, and that is very, very true. Um, it's. It's such a wonderful experience to work with a cast who knows you, who loves you, who will accept you no matter what mistake you make on stage or in rehearsal. They are so supportive, and if you ever have an inkling to like, I want to try theater, go for it. It's changed my life entirely. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Of course. And uh, we'll see Robert next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at Peaks Auditorium, 7 p.m. <laughs>